So there's a lot of going back and forth at this stage and we're getting really close to being able to start moving stuff in. Right now I'm taking supper over and we're having to take my husband's truck because this little booger locked the keys in my Subaru. So I'm not even sure how we're going to get him out. I don't think we have an extra key. The carpet was seriously so disgusting in this house. It was just full Hi. of like cat pee stains and it smelled absolutely horrible. The walls were really gross. Everything was just so very nasty and it took a lot of painting and new flooring and a lot of deep cleaning. It's coming. I'm excited about how well these floors hide dirt. They hide it really good. This is actually our first meal in our house. <laughs> in our kinda messy house. This is our room upstairs that we were painting and we totally should have used a really good primer to start with because we ended up having to put four coats of paint on this room and on the other landing area upstairs right outside of our room. And it was such a pain. We were both so tired of painting. One good thing about it was though that we were able to work together in the same room for a while and so we had some good conversations and that's always fun and a good thing. And then I painted these cupboards myself and I really love the way that they turned out. Um, the color is just like a really pretty light green color. Um, it's called Coastal Plain from Sherwin-Williams. Then the day finally came when they put the carpet in and it was so wonderful. It smelled so good. I love the smell of fresh new carpet and the kids are having so much fun on it. <laughs> this is going upstairs to our master bedroom and they were just getting um, this carpet finished up and then we did like a vinyl wood flooring in our room because I really didn't want carpet in our room. Yeah, I think it'll go really good. With the carpet was finally done and the flooring in our room was finally all done. They even vacuumed the carpet for me, which I was a little bummed about because I wanted to vacuum it. I love the way carpet looks with the fresh vacuum marks on it. Is anybody else like that? <laughs> Can you tell our kids are used to not having carpet? <laughs> what? I said, can you tell our kids are not used to having fluffy carpet to play on? You think it's the greatest thing ever? <laughs> we like going down the stairs like Tigger. Like Tigger? Yeah, like Tigger. Okay. okay, so I think today is going to be like the last work day at the house. And I'm so excited. I can hardly wait to move in. Um, so I'm going to just be doing a bunch of deep cleaning today. And yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. Cleaning is not my thing. But this bathroom in here, I'm pretty excited about it. The green color is a little weird, but I really didn't want to have to paint these shelves back here because they're super, super deep and it would just be really hard to paint them. And I was really sick of painting. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice color, but um, I'm gonna do some things in here that they could just really make the color look even nicer and it's gonna be really pretty. So the shower here, like a pine tree landscape photo curtain, and I think that's gonna look really nice. It'll kind of tie in the green. And then I'm gonna put these white rolled up towels in here and then like different baskets and stuff on the shelves like for dirty clothes and cleaning supplies and stuff like that. And then got this stuff here. Um, I just got this at Walmart yesterday. This is probably gonna go in here somewhere. So that one will be there and then I got another pretty basket to put down there. So I'm excited about this bathroom. You know, I really dislike cleaning, but 
the reward is really worth it. <laughs> so um, it's just really exciting and fulfilling to see the house like come together. Just everything clean and ready to move in. And um, some of this stuff has just cleaned up really nice too. This house was super dirty. I have dumped out multiple buckets of brown, dirty water. So um, yeah, it was really filthy, but it's almost done. Actually, it's not quite clean yet, but still have all of upstairs to do, which probably won't be that hard. And then, down here to do it. And we're, what the thing that's really kind of hard is washing these wood walls. I'm gonna wash up as high as I can just because the animals that were in here before it, they just really need to be cleaned. So that's a lot of hard work. And this whole living room pretty much is wood walls. So it's probably gonna take me all day unless um, my husband comes and helps me clean, which he doesn't like cleaning either, so we'll see. This house, the whole downstairs is clean. Literally from the top, way up there, all the way to the bottom, it is clean. <laughs> and then we still have some things to work on in here, but it's almost ready for moving in. We're gonna put some black iron um, rail thingies here. It's a little dangerous the way it is. I recruited some little helpers and it went so much faster and they really did a good job, especially little Marlon. He was really diligent. So just in case you are interested in the kind of mess that we've dealt with in this house, um, this is just really gross. This is the bathroom upstairs and I just like got all of this stuff out from underneath of this cabinet thing here. And it's just, oh, it's so nasty. It's like a pair of underwear, an old knife. Just, it's so gross. <laughs> and I am so fed up with it. This bathroom is the very last thing that I have to clean. And I am so, so thankful. I am completely burnt out on all of this. So, yeah. Okay, so I... Got my glove here to pick all this up with. Isn't this weird? Like, super weird. This is upstairs. Under there. Was the cat playing with this? Or it actually looks like a really nice knife, but I'm really just, just so disgusted right now. I'm not keeping it. <laughs> So finally the bathroom was done and we were able to start moving things in that next day. how it goes for most people that when you move into a house a new house a lot of times you kind of have piles of things sitting around for a couple days or maybe even weeks until you figure out where to put everything 
and this house is a little bit smaller than our other house so I had to declutter and get rid of lots of things so it took a while for me to move some of those piles <laughs> <laughs> so we had our friends come and help us move all of our stuff over this day and then we also spent our first night in our new home on that same day. <laughs> hey, are you going to sleep good in here? Could scoot down a little bit. <laughs> Are you gonna be warm enough? Yes. Hey. I want one right now. Not you. You ready for sleep? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I'll leave the light on in the hallway. All right. Okay. Good night. Okay. Sleep good. Let's go Then Marlon had to go check the sprinklers on our hay farm, which is about 15 minutes away. And we were all so ready to go to bed. And here's our room. We're just going to be sleeping like this tonight. So Jericho sleeping like really far away from me for the first time ever. I've been really excited to put him in little Marlon's bedroom, but also kind of apprehensive. If you're a mom, you know how that feels to have your baby finally like sleep away from you. So they're downstairs. He sleeps really good at night. He gets up kind of early, but I guess he can just bug little Marlon if he gets up early. So I think everything will be fine. Little Marlon's pretty responsible, so yeah. Okay, the house is all clean, this old house we are living in. And we're mowing the lawn and doing a few things before we leave for good. We've been sleeping at the other house, but this is like the end. <laughs> and it's kind of sad a little bit. It's so pretty around here right now. We've really had a great three years here. It's just been a beautiful place for the kids with that huge, Playhouse. This house is so neat too. There's a lot of things I'll miss about this spot. We've had some wonderful picnics and really great times underneath that tree up there. And this lilac bush is so huge and beautiful. The lilacs are just starting to almost open, not quite yet. So yeah, that is the end.